seen all the frameworks that have been presented, and as we get closer to the discussion, it's time for me to wrap up and present an attempt I made with uh, the help of Mark to position the frameworks that we heard about on the graph with the four scenarios that Mark presented earlier. Uh, our goal is to show how we believe that these frameworks position, uh, sorry, relate uh, to each other and uh, in terms of these axes particularly uh, in the framework of the Liverpool network that uh, also Mark talked about. So just a note that this is a preliminary scan. Uh, we, we conducted this so uh, with information uh, we had before uh, this workshop. So your input is much appreciated afterwards. And as a memory refresher, here are the four scenarios. Scenario one, globalizing innovating. Promoted across global contexts and different urban scales. It's not prescriptive and it's managed by an international organization. Next slide. Scenario two, globalizing standardizing. It's an accreditation framework. It sets minimum start standards. It's also promoted across global contexts and uh, managed by an international organization and inter inter encourages competition. Next slide, please. Scenario three, localizing and innovating. It's a toolkit for greater sustainability. It outlines a process that encourages local stakeholder engagement. It doesn't prioritize comparability and is promoted by an NGO that, that supports local communities. Scenario four, localizing and standardizing. It's a certification scheme that sets high level standards, but it is flexible when it comes to implementation. The success is measured in terms of improvements, and the scheme is managed by a local or regional organization. Next slide. Our preliminary scan showed that the International Eco City Framework and Standards, the German Sustainability Council Framework, and the Foundation for Sustainable Area Development belong mainly on the first top left quadrant, which represents scenario one. Next slide. Global City Indicators Facility, the ISO, and Canada Green Building Council with the lead and belong mainly on the second top right quadrant, which represents scenario two. Next slide. One Planet Communities, Regenerative Neighborhoods, Eco Districts, Telos Triangle and Community Capital Tool, as well as Core for Neighborhoods. We believe that it belongs mainly on the third bottom left quadrant, which represents scenario three. Next slide. And finally, the International Living Institute with the Living Community Challenge belongs mainly to on, on the fourth bottom right quadrant, which represents scenario four. Next slide. So here is a synthesis of our preliminary analysis. And you can find this graph on the fourth and the last of, uh, page of your background document. Next slide. And after the break, we will discuss questions that you see on the screen. Great, thanks for